And we have some breaking news coming in. Mohan Bagan faces a two-year ban after ugly incidents that played out at the Kolkata Derby yesterday. Kolkata Derby between uh, East Bengal and Mohan Bagan had to be called off with the green and the maroons refusing to take the field after half-time following a serious injury to their winger. Syed Rahim Nabi was hit by a missile from the stands and had to be hospitalized. Bagar's antics could invite a two-year ban from the I-League as per tournament regulations. Well, let me go across to Gaurav Gala, our sports editor who joins us from the newsroom. Uh, Gaurav, uh, tell us exactly what uh, this ban is for and how significant it is. Um, Rukmini, at this point in time, the ban is not official yet. There is going to be a meeting of the I-League organizing committee and they are then going to take a call uh, as far as Mohan Bagan's fate is concerned. Mohan Bagan, of course, one of the biggest clubs in Indian domestic football. Uh, they're one of the most historic clubs in Indian domestic football and it would really be a shame for the I-League if one of the stalwart clubs is banned for this particular year, possibly the next year as well in the I-League. Uh, the news coming in at this point in time is that the indications are very, very strong given the fact that Mohan Bagan refused to come out for the second half. They forfeited their encounter and as far as the regulations, the rules are concerned, that attracts a minimum for two-year ban. Um, as far as this particular season of the I-League is concerned, I really don't see a way back for Mohan Bagan. Um, the next season, uh, whether they'll, the ban will uh, remain for next season is something that will be decided in that meeting. That hasn't yet happened. Indications are that it is going to be a two-year ban. Forfeiting a match midway through um, you know, is absolutely uncalled for. Uh, yes, there were a lot of problems in the encounter. Yes, there was a lot of uh, crowd disturbance. Missiles were being thrown onto the ground by the spectators. One of the Mohan Bagan players was hit. At the same time, there was a huge ruckus um, uh, with Odafe, one of the Mohan Bagan centre-forwards, and the fact that he was shown a red card by the referee and he refused to go off the field for almost seven to eight minutes but uh, a lot of problems a lot of issues with this particular encounter and the East Bengal Mohan Bagan derby is always a very very hotly contested match tempers tend to flare from time to time in this encounter Rukmini and that's exactly what happened uh, in this derby at the Salt Lake Stadium a massive turnout of fans passionate fans as well and we saw passions uh, uh, you know, going overboard and uh, as far as this particular ban is concerned, we're still waiting to hear. In fact, what I've learned from my sources is that even uh, Mohan Bagan are holding an internal meeting of their own to figure out their next course of action. This could very well end up in the courts as well, Rukmini. Right, Gaurav, these kind of incidents are reported from all over the world. Uh, what is the procedure followed in these kind of cases and is it really fair in this case to ban Mohan Bagan considering one of their own was injured uh, by a missile pelted uh, from uh, the audience? Look, as far as spectators throwing objects onto the field, that, you know, is, is very rarely seen as a reason for a team to walk out and not come back for the match. This is something that happens all over the world. It's happened in India in the past as well. But the team uh, that has been at the receiving end of the crowd's ire, the spectators' ire, hasn't abandoned matches in the past. But in this particular case, I think it, it wasn't just the, the, the crowd throwing... Um, uh, missiles onto the ground, Rukmini. It was also the way the Mohan Bagan players felt they had been treated by the match referee. They felt they had been hard done by. In fact, our Kolkata correspondent Manogia Loibal now joins us on the phone line. Manogia, what's the latest? We're hearing that indications are that Mohan Bagan are going to get this two year ban. What's the latest that you're hearing right now? Well, we've been hearing that there could be a disciplinary action that can be taken against Mohan Bagan for Opali Odafi, the way he had argued with the referee just before he was being red carded following which the trouble broke out yesterday in Salt Lake Stadium. But there is no ignorance to the fact that this, it was also a beyond control. The, uh, the situation has spiraled out of control because of a bit man mismanagement on the part of the police. Also, on the ferocity of the class, on why they could not analyze the situation and why there was impropriety as far as the security arrangements are concerned because Mohan Bagan and uh, East Bengal, this match has always been considered as a high tension and a high profile match as far as West Bengal goes. Yes. And whenever it is played in, played in Bengal, there is trouble that views out. But this time, you could expect much more action taken against the team and the players. However, we spoke to the secretary, Anjan Mitra, where he said that there was no question of being banned, but there are still 
talks going on in the higher authorities in Indian Football Association also on what okay. and will be taken by them. Maroja, hang on to the phone line. We've also got uh, uh, commentator and uh, football historian Novi Kaparia joining us on the phone line at this point in time. Novi, absolutely shameful scenes what we saw. Uh, we are now hearing Mohan Bagan likely to be banned for two years. Um, uh, your thoughts on what really happened and whether this two-year ban, if it comes into effect uh, later today, is justified or not? You see, if the ban comes place, it's a death knell of Indian football. There are only two clubs which have a crowd support, that is East Bengal and Mohan Bagan. And, I mean, if one of them goes, the, anyway, the um, you know, the spectator response to the I-League is practically dismal. I mean, uh, on Saturday when there was a match in Delhi, there were barely 200 people watching ONGC versus Sporting Club de Goa. So these are the only two clubs which really pull uh, supporters. See, the question that rises on this, why did this take place is, first is, how come spectators or fans were allowed to carry bricks or stones into the stadium? Yeah. It's either a massive security lapse or there is some part of the stadium which isn't, the construction isn't complete and bricks and all are lying around. I mean, there should have been some basic care in ensuring this is a, you know, high voltage match, a volatile match. Uh, spectators should have been, you know, thoroughly screened. Also, the fact that the All India Football Federation went and had India's most high profile match okay. uh, on the same weekend as when India was playing England in cricket. I mean, it just speaks of not very good planning. I yeah. mean, the, in the Mohan Bagan Isbagal match could have been reponed by a week or postponed by a week. It wouldn't really have mattered. The cricket uh, test match schedule was announced long ago. Right, I so mean, even questions need to be asked of uh, the organisers, the I-League as well. Novi Kapadia, for the time being, many thanks for joining us with your perspective. So, Rukmini, it's not just the club in question here, even questions being raised on the I-League, the organizers themselves and whether this volatile derby was planned in a proper manner or not. This is a story we're going to continue to get to the bottom of and we'll get you all the latest right here on Headlines today. For the time being, Rukmini, back over to you.